Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Man of Medan. Hello. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories such as this one. The actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Oh. It's beer. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Hmm, someone's coming. That is not the Coast Guard. Okay, assholes. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Asshole. What's that? Oh. Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> You're doing well. Thank you. What was a special feature unlocked? So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say... Her vagina. This lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Yeah, you're the smart guy. Figure out why they shot the so, plane down. How does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Okay, why would you just say... I'll start with my own name. That's kind of an asshole Honestly, thing to say. I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So also I Smith, pretty common. Plans, eventually. Uh, yeah, they're make they're making me want to make her sound like a bitch. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. <laughs> say nothing. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Uh, okay, and I can be playful. Like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. They're getting go beers. Them. You just relax. Another bearing update. What update? When they talked about it later, they were both happy. Could I have made choices that neither of them would be? They didn't kiss on my screen. What the fuck? Does this end up going all the way around? There's eight. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we'll find out. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. You were just sure. standing there. What were you doing? <laughs> Hell yeah. We had the right choices. I thought you didn't want him. Sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. That was longer than seven oh, seconds. Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Also, didn't we open the door? How did they not realize? And I uh, make him pissed. Unimpressed. When just now? Right. 
Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What's that? that the camera? So, look at these pictures. Look at these dead bodies. How do you turn it on? Why did you take these? Bumping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Air Rescue Service, Conwin Island? Where's the skeletons? Taking pictures of me? There it is. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. One, I'm not that savvy. Two, I was talking about med school. Okay. We're over the top, bro. We're over the top? So. We're going again tomorrow. Uh, wait, what am I looking for? Uh, Something for yeah, my bag? Seems a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? Where's my bag? Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Did you tell me where it was? Oh. I was looking through our pictures, man. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. What'd you call me? There's the kiss. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Why don't you guys kiss underwater? Right here. I guess the mask would be in the way. <laughs> Just be like, bong, bong. How many beers do you have? Yeah, I guess he doesn't want You're one. No resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they'd turn long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've it fell into my pocket. Already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Yeah. Fine, I'll apologize. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. We never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. You're too superstitious. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah. I Doesn't seem like it was good. <laughs> oh, okay. Heard a story. Everyone just kind of ignored where Fliss said. Be like, hey, too. tell Let's us a fun it. ghost story. We could all use a good show. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's have some it. fun. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. It's smooth. The woman answers, I live here. 
in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Lumberjacks? Then, it was a meat hook. They were you said this was a true story. And hung from the rafters. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay. There so should have been a weapon on the floor. Who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Ha! <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> super twist. Nice. That guy ruined it. <laughs> nice one, Squire. How did you become a ghoul? You have me going. Pretty cool. Did none of you see the part where he turned into a half okay. ghost? You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. Too what many you numbers. Read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> 10 4, good buddy. And I'm out. All right, bye, Brad. Go back to vomiting or something. Go look at the bullet. Tell us what the fuck happened. All right, now we're gonna run. Gonna go fight some ghosts. The bowler brought back the three ghosts of dead men's the water plane. Hell no. Yeah. Okay, that was pointless. Pick up the bolly, stab him. Hey, Alex, how's it going? If everyone's here, who's piloting the boat? You pilot a boat? I guess you drive a boat. Uh, Fliss, you're the captain. Uh, yeah. Rip off your mustache. Let's have everyone talk. Why'd you sound out of breath? I wasn't covering your nose. Got 
Yeah, we could be doing so many multiple things at once. You okay? I think so. What do you do with the beer bottle? Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Bye, Captain. You could have just told them the good news first. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. Well, I guess they're pirates. I want to get out of here. You know what pirates do. Uh, let's get free. Guys, we got to get untied right now. <laughs> Shit. It's not good. Julia, you're, you're free. Because yeah, such a deep voice. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. You're not giving me options to dodge. Eric, can you talk? Tell me what you want. Stop punching. It's about your boat. What do you fuckers want? They want blood. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. I'm not gonna say anything. Hopefully, you know, he doesn't do anything. We finish with the blade. All right, I survived. Be on your best behavior, little man. Get off! Get off! Oh, well, is that where Brad pops up? How did he get under there? Was he just sleeping under there? Also, oh, they're not concerned how your arms are now in front of you. Good job. Hey. Hey, dipstick. Shut the fuck up. Oh, so you're not concerned now his arms are free? I think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. They hit me. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. She's the captain. Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. Alright. Turn around. Get Julia back? They already they saw you without your hands. Back. Okay, they're coming. Alex is a fucking idiot. Get him, Alex. Or don't. Fuck. Motherfuckers. Julia, tell me what happened. They asked 
asked about her parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> oh, fuck no. What's the bearing? Someone's gonna fucking pay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, we have a weapon now. We can use the scissors. Oh, we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Take the scissors. You break it in two. And you have two weapons. So of the gameplays I've seen of this, it's always Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off. First. It's always a uh, Conrad gets on the boat and leaves. I don't want him to. I wanna see what happens if he stays. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Also, no of the ones I've seen, no one's ever been able to do this. So stupid. Just get to the boat. All right. And I'm gonna try and make him stay on the boat. One, because he's the only actor I recognize, and I want him in this game. You tell him, Fliss. What? Okay. Attack. Bearing. Hang on. Alex didn't take the bang stick. Drilling at the knife. Conrad attacked Junior. The guy's name is Junior. Okay. A oh, boom. Oh. Conrad was unarmed. Who would have had the? I guess Julie would have had a knife. Or Alex maybe. Well, this is unfortunate. You pretty stupid. Danny brought Alex on the deck with a knife to his throat. I don't know how. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> with Conrad and Alex overpowered, the fight was over. <laughs> Great job. Great job, everyone. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Alex, you're standing right next to him. Grab the gun. You, right here. Sit. You get the gun, you win the fight. They only have one. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bâton! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Just let him get a snack. Alright? You want some Rice Krispie treats? Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Uh, we, we found a plane. We found this pamphlet. And it said Manchurian gold. That's all we know. Fliss again. <laughs> oh, wow. 
why that face looks like a gremlin. Mm. You fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There's no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Bliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Oh, fuck you, I'd be pissed too. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up. There I asshole. Put a cork in it. I don't think they have the best. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. They don't have the best relationship. Doing good with Conrad. Nope. Oh. I mean, we really can't. The boat's doing this. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. <sighs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Got it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Really should have like some uh some like hey, code word. Uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Yeah, no, nothing's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. You're welcome. Do I get an award now? Ooh. Yep. Thank you. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? So if I would have threatened you or told the Coast Guard, would you just let me go? Throw the knife. Oh. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Everyone get up here. I'm the captain. Hey. Move it. Now. You guys are talking Brad so loud. Stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. You're like Brad's yelling. Big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. To be fair, the water is going down there. <laughs> and he is the lowest he could be. On the boat. Hello. Man, this 
guy is not a great boat driver. What's he doing to the Duke? Animal. Everyone's still alive. For now. Things could have been quite different. Can anyone die this early? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. So anyway, Shrek's gonna come in you've picture? Reached a point of significant distress. I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Special feature unlocked. Probably shouldn't have said that. I know exactly what you mean. Wink. <laughs> 